So Benjamin just got some really absurd changes in that he now is able to make $5,000 per round when he reaches level 17. So in this video, I want to do a deep dive into Benjamin and we're going to do it the proper way. We're going to look at the numbers. We're going to play an actual game. And then what I'm essentially trying to do is I'm trying to beat an entire boss by only using Benjamin as my farm and nothing else. So even if you guys are not exactly familiar with what's been happening in the patch notes, don't worry, we're going to cover everything from the start. So first off, let's just check out the the cash generation change which is basically the entire change that's been happening with ben so the level one cash generation got reduced from 100 to 80 the level two cash generation got reduced from 150 to 120 level eight cash generation is unchanged and then starting from level 11 you get these just absurd numbers so it went from 300 to a thousand then it goes from 500 to two and a half thousand and then eventually i mean look at this number 800 to five thousand dollars that is a per round income that this guy is generating so the money just really goes ham eventually in the late game. So to show you guys how absurd these new changes are, this is a level 11 Ben and he makes the exact same amount of money as 2023 farms plus a 200 farm. The level 15 Ben makes two and a half thousand dollars per round, which is I think about the same as a 420, a 023 and then just a 200 farm. And then the last one, the level 17 Ben makes 5,000 per round, which is the equivalent of or at least about the equivalent of all of these farms combined. And you guys can see how much this income is just going to start getting crazy in the later rounds so i'm going to leave the game running in the background and i want to show you guys a post which goes into just insane detail it's a deep dive into how this new cash generation impacts ben and the entire game of balloon cd6 this was made by a user named legofan 905 and i want to just give the biggest shout out to them this i'm sure it took a lot of work they even did it for all types of maps so you have the beginners the intermediates the advanced and the experts and they crunched all the numbers and it basically shows the the important and how this this bend change is affecting the entire game of balloons td6 and as you guys can see i really love this this coloring right here which shows the exact tipping point at which the new bend actually starts to overtake the old one and this is the no monkey generation no monkey knowledge um chart which basically goes like this around 73 uh, the new Ben makes 13,480 per round and the old Ben makes 13,450. So that is basically the, the point at which the new Ben is starting to overtake the old one. Now, what's really important for us is that for around, like, for example, round 40, which you guys can see right here, the new Ben makes $4,640 in comparison to the old one, which makes $5,800. Now, I'm not going to go over all of these numbers, but I just wanted to kind of show you at least the last one. And then we're going to do a summary of this whole thing. So on round 140, which is where boss events end uh, the new band makes 249,000 to 250k <laughs> in total and the old one would have made 54,000 which is just insane so the summary of that post goes like this after 140 rounds so basically in a in a boss event which we're trying to test right now uh the band the post patch benjamin so the new one the one that we have in game live is going to make between 250 and 280 percent more cash which is just insane when you think about it i mean you guys saw the numbers now the nerf is that over the course of the first 40 rounds benjamin will be making about 18 ish percent less money and this is exactly what ninja q was trying to target they were trying to target the early game so that i guess the tiers one or two or boss which i guess are going to have the most impact are going to be you know most affected and then eventually oh wait a minute are we fine did i manage to place all of my towers in a spot in which all of them just got stunned with one blast i think i did okay and also bought this thing because i do want to get the super mines actually eventually because i saw the new cash generation on the late game and it's insane so i just want to try it and then eventually just to end it off around 61 to 80 is obviously the tipping point so uh, you're either starting to see a reduction of 0.27 at worst or a surplus of 22 and a half percent at best so that's the point to which the new band actually start generating more money so as long as you survive the first two tiers you're gonna be fine and actually the reduction is not that big in general but you know you're gonna be buying like and i think we, we saw it in the document but it's gonna be like 1.2k less money in general uh, up to around 40 which just means 1.2k is basically the the amount of one farm so you're gonna be being basically having one farm less uh i guess one base farm less up to around 40 
so one of the things that i've been thinking is how does this change impact ben in like the the regular games just in general not just boss events because boss events are the ones that last you know up to around 140 but what about the games that last you know up to around 60 or 80 and now you know given that only like impoppable and chimps mode are the game modes that go you know <laughs> past around 80 and you can't even farm on like chimps mode it begs the question is ben like objectively like a, a, a worse hero now than he used to be and i think the answer is yes so i think that the way to look at this change is that yeah ben is on average you know uh worse than he was but at the same time i guess in some scenarios he's gonna be able to make a lot of money and you know what this is one of those scenarios so let's see if this new Ben, which is going to reach level 11, he's going to start making a thousand. Keep in mind, this number was $300 uh, for the previous one. So this is where we're going to start seeing a lot more money getting generated. So let's go like this. Let's just get something like a 320 Alchemist for this man, which is only buffing the man. Yeah, that's, there we go. Yeah, let's just start like this, and then we're going to see what happens. So I just really want to get rid of this boss as, as fast as possible. And the idea is to get a Super Mice eventually, which I think is going to be able to somewhat carry. Although we don't have an Overclock NG. The man is still, you know, in a bad spot. And he's still not going to be able to target the boss because of the tree stump in the middle. All right, so let me actually get a relentless glue because I need to stop these guys. I need to I need to stun them. I need to slow them. And I'm actually going to get like an alchemist just for my boomerang because we're not dealing with the small blooms. It seems like we we can deal with the with the mob class blooms, just the small ones are a problem. I'm going to upgrade this thing to the 420 by the way, and that's going to be the last call proking. I hope we didn't stun too many of our important towers. We're going to have the mad ability in a second, and that's going to be a tier three which. We surprisingly held. Let me just check Ben's level while we're at it. He's level 14. So, yeah, during the 80s, he's going to be level 15. And that is when the, the money is actually going to start coming in. So, uh, let's just defeat this tier. And I think I'm actually going to save the mat. I don't think I'm going to be selling it. All right. So, round 94, it seems like, is the time in which we're going to reach the level 17. The most important level, which is level 17. We're, we're going to be making $5,000 per round. And there we go. And then maybe we can do something like, I don't know, like this like call to arms maybe gets the strongest stem like give it like six percent extra attack speed on the mat we could also do this by the way we could do a uh a spike swarm into a carpet of spikes are we gonna have forty thousand wait what am i talking about are we gonna have of course we're gonna have forty thousand dollars this guy makes like 5k around and we have like five rounds left to go Twenty thousand. oh my god i i'm just not used to this thing guys <laughs> i'm like are we gonna have enough money but then i realized like ben is making 5k around so i think that we should have the money let's just aim the mat like this just kind of end around a little bit faster and just watch the cash so yep thirty thousand dollars we're absolutely gonna have the money for this thing and you know what we might even have some money for some damage amplifiers at the end here comes the tier four so let's just kind of i don't know let's just go to town to this thing so first off call to arms mad ability let's get the glue ability and then let's use the carpus or spikes and this should be enough right please tell me this is gonna be enough a lot of these good towers are gonna get stunned uh mainly you know i'm just worried about this thing the glavo which is the exact reason why i bought it by the way so that he can defend the small balloons because <laughs> we're really not doing well versus the small balloons and oh we have a huge problem okay so let's actually sell the glue and the ninja and are we gonna have enough money for yes for the solver so let's just have like a 502 solver which is gonna deal with the small balloons uh I think we're gonna manage as long as either the glaive lord or the solver don't get stunned we should be fine in general and i think he's far enough so call to arms and let's use all of our abilities that are available and i think we should yes so we got a pop onto this thing but yes none of our towers got stunned so that should be amazing yes there we go let me just keep using the glue strike ability as well and i'm gonna try and save so that's a lot of money keep you know kind of keep your eye on to the the amount of money that we have it's thirty five thousand dollars, and we spent all of our money before starting this so yeah ben is definitely making a lot of money I can tell you guys that much. You know, something that I definitely can see starting to bite me is this really bad placement on the mat, but I think that we're gonna manage through it. We're gonna deal with this one for sure. And then with the super wise and with all these other towers, I think we should be fine in general. So this is gonna be the last stretch. And yes, we absolutely do have this tier of boss. That's gonna be tier four and one tier remaining, guys. This is getting interesting. Oh, oh my god, what? <laughs> 25 lives? How did I survive that thing? I don't know what happened, but I guess the gods of BT6 really want us to win this, huh? Yeah, guys. Guys, come on this cash generation is insane 125,000 and bam we buy the super mines and all of these towers that you guys see on screen by the way the boss is coming in the sixth round so we do have a little bit more room to farm but look at this thing this is all of the new band let me just check 
$173,000 that this guy has made so far. This is just insane. He's making so much money in the late game. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the last stretch. Uh, I'm gonna buy the homeland, which is about the... It, we're, we almost spent all of the money. So we have like 1k left, and then maybe we can buy some small stuff. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe like an ice, which is gonna give us plus 1 damage amplification. But this is it, guys. We are ready for the final tier of boss. And we have a bunch of tier 5s. The homeland, the mad, the super mines. Uh, we have the carpet spikes. We have the glaive the solver and this is it this is gonna be the last test for ben actually so let's let's start with it from the beginning first off let me just not forget to upgrade this thing by the way and let's start with all our abilities so glue let's use the homeland and let's just dump all of our abilities into the boss and let's hope that this is gonna be <laughs> enough to be the tier 5 vortex and we are we have twenty seven thousand dollars. i mean i we can just get a sniper right so the boss is near the super mines and actually you know what i was gonna buy this uh, I was gonna buy the sniper, but I'm kind of having second thoughts about it. Let me just activate this thing just to get some production going to super mines. And I think I should be buying a Chinook actually so that we can relocate. Yes, exactly. Let me get a Chinook so we can relocate our super mines. Okay, I guess the good thing is that you can relocate a stun tower. So I'm actually going to move the super mines like this where's the where do we want to have them let's just have them like this for a while and then i'm gonna relocate them again yes yeah, so this is gonna be the last call proking but i don't think we have this guys i mean how do i save it a bunch of spike storms i don't know let's just oh Never mind, we leaked a bunch of DTs. Okay, let's try it again, actually. Okay, so let's actually go like this. I'm gonna sell a solver. I don't think this one is necessary. And I was thinking of getting just another call to, uh, we can sell this ice. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, come on guys, $600 dollars ring. This is about it. And so once the homeland expires, uh, I'm going to use the, I think it's about to expire by the way. Oh no, I might've overlapped them a little bit, but that's completely fine. And I think that this is probably one of the best shots that we have. I mean, if we had the dark paragon, this would have been, you know, <laughs> this would have been a clear victory and also if we even just had like the engineer this would have also been a clear victory but the thing is we're playing an like a week in which just those two towers happen to be banned and this is a little bit you know unfortunate circumstances but it is what it is so now let's get the call to arms going while everything is down basically let's use the mad ability and i'm not sure if this is like even better than last time but what i do want to do is i still want to be relocating the uh super mines so let's go like this all of our abilities are on cooldown there are gonna be some some nice banks i guess happening while uh, vortex is here at the bottom let me just check the dps i mean the dps is kind of nice right you know what we could do let me just actually relocate the mat up top so that we can get some oh but it is outside of the range of the let me just oh my god <laughs> so let me just relocate the alchemist and, and rebuy a village let's get the cold arms while the uh, while the homeland is down and now the man is gonna have a lot more uptime i guess which is gonna be nice as soon as this thing expires how are we doing with the small balloons by the way yeah, there we go. So the Cold Arms expired, so let's use the abilities again. We're gonna have this one as well. And this is... Is it a little bit better than last time? I have no idea, guys. I, I think it might be, honestly. Let me just move the Super Mines, like, a little bit more towards the top side, I guess. Sell the Alchemist, uh, get something like the Glue Storm, I guess, for a little bit more uptime, and let's just keep using the abilities like this. I'm even gonna get the Laser Shock. I should probably... Oh my... I'm really throwing everything at the wall at this point. I'm even gonna get, like, a 410 Ice, because why not? Uh, this is definitely a little bit better than last time but how much better i don't know this is gonna be close guys uh, some ceramics at the back so let me get an ice tower like this let me use the call to arms it's gonna give it a little bit of extra attack speed hopefully we hold the ceramics until our towers get unstunned and this is gonna be the last stun by the way so no more stunts which means that as long as we survive uh we have the ability oh my god i'm clicking something i think i froze them oh <gasps> You guys see those at the back? I barely caught those. Okay, so our abilities are back, so we should be fine. And it's just going to be... Yeah, it's just going to be surviving this. So it's going to be the last stretch. This is peak BT6, guys. Like, it doesn't get crazy into this. Let me relocate the Super Mice. I'm going to sell the Alchemist. And I'm going to rebuy a new one at the top. Move this thing like this. And oh my god. <laughs> I'm really trying to win this. I don't know. We're going to need one more relocate on the Super Mice. This is ridiculously close. Let's use this thing. The, the Homeland is still ongoing. Let's have the mad target like this. Did I fix it? Yeah, I fixed it in spot in the place. So let's go like this. Uh, we have the super mine relocate for one last time towards the end. So let's go like this. Buy an alchemist. Buy a village. It's gonna go like this. Uh, let me use this ability. Sixty thousand HP. This is insane. But I think. I think we have it guys i think we yes oh my god that's ridiculous <laughs> and we actually beat it i'm su i'm super happy that, we, that this thing just happened we actually beat 
a boss by only using Ben as our farm. So just place the hero and with the money that we got from the hero, we won. And I'm super happy about that. $263,000 that Ben just made. And guys, I don't even know what to say. This was this was so fun and it, it really got intense towards the end. We barely beat this thing. So that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed it a lot. I had a lot of fun playing this and I hope to see you guys in the next one.